Hello and welcome back to HLS Crypto. I'm Dan. Uh, let's take a look at the top of the video. So, top five altcoins to buy and hold until 2025. So, our most loved alts and most cryptos are on a dip right now. Um, are you taking advantage of this, by the way? Um, or do you expect a, dip for a further dip in the market? It's obviously very plausible, but at the minute, you know, you're looking between 5%, 10% down on a lot of the altcoins that we discuss. You know, if you've not done your DCA for the month yet, then is now the time? Potentially it is. Uh, someone I know, uh, Q, shout out to you, mate, is predicting uh, big dips in September, October this year. Is he right? Well, time will tell that, but he's convinced and that something, uh, it's definitely something to bear in mind uh, when you decide to enter the markets. If obviously we have a big crash, in September, October, and you sort you, you know you you sort of talking twenty percent, maybe thirty percent down on the alts. Then, you know that would be a, a, an amazing time to buy. Uh, for me, I'm 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 not gonna hold out too much because I've got a strategy each month. I'll I'll continue with that. If they're slightly up, if they're slightly down, the mean average will be pretty good anyway. So, you know, in twenty twenty five, these prices are gonna be unheard of. You know, people will forget the fact that they got them for so cheap. Uh, and as I've said before, you will fall into one of two main groups of people in the crypto world. You'll be the meme guy uh, or girl. We don't discriminate, you know, if, which, whichever way. But you'll be a, a, a meme character. You'll come in. You'll decide to go and buy a load of Pepe 9.0. You might get, you know, some uh, Shiba. Uh, Shiba's probably going to be okay to be fair it's you know it's starting to build a ship area and there is a bit of a project around it but even so it's still essentially a meme coin will you be doing that maybe trying to ride those gains and then make the mistake of going oh that one isn't, isn't performing i'll buy this one i'll buy that one and eventually what you've put in is is basically lost if you don't take profits or you'll be the dca guy the smart person you know the one who goes right I'm going to select me altcoins and they get me five, maybe eight, maybe 10, all depending on budget. It's all about what you can risk. Essentially, it's a volatile marketplace. You may go in and go, right, got my altcoins. I'm DCAing every month. This is great. Build and build and build. And I know that process is very, very boring. It's not the same dopamine hits are chasing all the memes, but it's the way to do it. You know, people like Warren Buffett and that didn't chase dopamine hits when they were chasing like trading stocks they just knew you know keep going keep going build 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 it takes off they sell they repeat they rinse they do the same thing and you can do this with a lesser amount of money in the crypto space you do this in the stock market it's going to take you 20 30 40 years which i don't know if all of us have got that amount of time and then when you when you when you're at 20 30 40 years away What's life look like then, you know? I always think the best way to do it is do it now and do it well, you know? As I've said before, and I've reiterated this a lot along the time we've been in the channel now, that the control and emotions is key on both sides. Control and emotions is really key. So don't be so negative and down on the dips. You'll have like people coming out, crypto's dead. It's never going to take off. And then when it dips, oh, crypto's the future. It's the, it's the next big, best thing in the world. Just ride the medium line, you know? Don't be so despairing when things start going down and don't be so overly hopeful when things start going up because we're still in that bare accumulation phase. Things will peak and trough a lot along this way. Don't be so concerned about this at this stage. So the five I'd buy and hold until 2025 right now will be Quant, HBAR, Gala, CSPR and Trias. There are videos, you know, that I've created on the channel that you, you, you're more than welcome to go back and have a look at regarding a lot of these coins. I haven't done a full in-depth video on, on CSPR yet, Casper, but oh, it, it's on my list to do. It's definitely a plan. Target-wise, you know, I'm looking minimum 1K quant, minimum $1 to $2 HBAR, minimum $1 Gala, minimum $1 Casper, and minimum $100 Trias. Again, you know, I could, I could explain some of the the uh the fact that 
Quant and Trias are very scarce. That's going to be a, a big factor in, in, I think, supply shock. I think that will drive the price up. But again, go back and check some of the videos and, and you'll see why I think a bit more about that. Always remember to do your own research and patience and mindset is absolutely key. Now, this is something like get your research done because that's going to be the most important thing. If, if, you, if you're backing what you think, you, you're following your own knowledge because you've done that due diligence, you've done that research is really important. But I think, I think it was Bruce Lee that said, I don't fear the man who's practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who's practiced one kick 10,000 times. So it's about repetition. It's about doing these things right. Like he's absolutely right there. You know, the more you practice one particular thing, you build your skill set up in that particular thing, you'll get better and better and better over time. Incrementally, you're always going to be improving. And it might, there's a book I read, I think called Atomic Habits, where things will go like that for so long because you're doing that daily work. And it can take 100 days, 200 days, 300 days, 500 days. But then all of a sudden, it'll start doing that. So uh, I think there's, there's another quote about, uh, it might be an Andrew Tate one, uh, it, that might be divisive, but it's like about hard work. Hard work beats talent when talent don't work hard. So it's important to try and get the mindset right and really do your own research. DCA and in is still repetition. You know, when you're building your altcoin bags and it's not exciting, there's no dopamine hit, but you're doing it because you know long-term there's a there's a longer term goal and that's your target doing the day-to-day -day stuff it can be in the gym you know you might go to the gym every day for like six months and you don't really see any real progress you may be feeling a little bit low about it but on the day six months and one day where you decide to stay in bed and don't go there the guy who does go there starts to get the results this is the thing it's all about building repetition I'd like to know what you guys are buying on the dips because I, I, I've had some great comments um, from the from this channel. Some of you guys are, are brilliant. Uh, shout out to Graham as well. He, he's uh, he's commented a lot on our videos, and I think you know he's got a really good mindset. He's he's going to make it this bull run definitely. He's really focused. Um, but like, what what are you guys buying? It's it's interesting to know because there may be a few coins that I need to have a look at. That maybe I need to add to the portfolio, things like that. So I am intrigued about what you guys think. Time is key here. Again, I've said, you know, we probably don't have that long now. We maybe had a bit longer, you know, say six months ago, uh, eight months ago, maybe January, December, November. But we're getting close to the halving, which is in April. Things will start kicking off probably late 2024. But 2025 is probably going to be our time to shine. I would, I would think 2025 is the time. Obviously, you can't predict the exact date of a bull run. But I think 2025 is, is, is the one that we're, we're all probably a likely consensus that that'll be the case. And you can all do this as well. You know, nothing I've said here is difficult for anyone to do. If it's all about, you know, just trying to maybe maybe lower expenses in any way you can. Maybe the Netflix account, you don't, maybe you don't want that. Maybe you don't want to watch Netflix. Maybe you don't. Is there a way that you can just bring that down? There's, have a look for your own bank accounts. There's probably little, little things that you subscribe to that you kind of forgot about and you don't really use. And it might be like four, five, six, seven quid dollars or whatever. But they're still use them because that's 70 if you do the power of 10 into the crypto market. And as always, I, like, I do wish you all the best of luck. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm literally with you right here on the way. I'm not rich. I'm not. But I want to create a video for you guys in 2025 where I'm like, yeah, you know, I did this. Here's the result. I've got what I actually set out to achieve. And with regards to the YouTube channel, it's definitely, that's going to be down to you guys. You know, the, the, the more subscribers we get, you know, if you, the, the comments, the likes, the shares. So that's key on, on this side of things. The crypto side of things, I'm going to keep doing, you know, keep doing in the background. I, I document here how, how we're getting on with that. But most importantly is have fun, do the best things you can do. Look at the ways that you can create your, revenue streams in whichever way you can if you enjoyed this video please definitely subscribe uh, give me a like comment below as, as i said before what are you buying on a dip and we'll see you tomorrow take it easy